Well, Tunisia's president, Kais Saeed, has suspended parliament and dismissed the prime minister. And the prime minister, Hishi Mushisha. This move is deepening a months-long political crisis. The parliamentary speaker slammed the move as a coup and called on people to protest. But in the immediate aftermath of the announcement, those taking to the streets hailed the president's decision as long overdue. Celebration on the streets of Tunisia. Jubilant crowds excited to hear that Tunisia's president, Kais Saeed, has suspended the country's parliament and dismissed the prime minister, Hicham Machichi. It's the first time in my life I have heard the head of state make a correct decision. We have taken back our country. This is the first time I've gone onto the streets to celebrate. They blame the current government for a crippling coronavirus outbreak and bleak economic conditions. At the presidential palace, Saeed said he will temporarily rule using executive power before installing a new prime minister. We have taken these decisions and will issue other decisions in the form of a decree, as stipulated by the constitution, until social stability returns to Tunisia and that we can save the state. The suspension of parliament will last 30 days and will also lift the immunity from prosecution that politicians enjoy. Parliament is plagued by allegations of corruption. Leaders from the ruling party called the move a state coup, committing to defend their hold on power. It follows widespread protests all over Tunisia, where demonstrators demanded the dissolution of parliament. I want this movement to put pressure on the failed and corrupt government. I believe that this parliament is completely corrupt. The main ruling party has ruled for 10 years and hasn't given us any solutions. As a young man in 2011, I called for jobs, freedom and dignity. And in 2021, I'm still calling for jobs, freedom and dignity. A decade has passed since the 2011 revolution that sparked the Arab Spring and brought democratic reforms. But Tunisia has remained prone to political turmoil, which has hampered the rebuilding of public services. On top of that, political leaders have been unable to slow an overwhelming coronavirus outbreak, which has killed thousands of people. Those on the streets will celebrate their triumph over parliament, but know from experience that the road to a more stable politics is much longer. And let's get more. We are joined now by Rabab Aloui. Uh, she is a journalist who is based in Tunis. Welcome to the program and thank you so much for joining us. We've been seeing it there, uh, that there has been quite a reaction. The move has been praised by some, others call it a coup. What should we make of it? Uh, thank you. It's good to be with you today. So, uh, like the street, the political parties in Tunisia are divided. So, both are divided between people who uh, welcome the, the decision of President Kai Saeed and describe him as a real uh, statesman. And in the other side, there's people and some political parties, mainly the, the leader's party in the parliament, who uh, describe it, these decisions as uh, a constitutional uh, dictatorship. And they they said, uh, like what uh, the the, lead, uh, the leader of Nahda party, Rashid Hanoushi, said, it's the beginning of a dictatorship. So both are divided now. And uh, at this time now, there's uh, clashes between uh, protesters in the front of uh, the parliament, between the supporters of uh, Nahda uh, parties, and in the other side, people who are supporting uh, Kai Saeed and who protested yesterday and called for the fall of uh, the government. Mm. And uh, they blame the government and the parliament for uh, the deterioration of the situation in Tunisia. What could those divisions mean now going forward? Um, because, you know, as we've highlighted here, Tunisia is a young democracy. It is held up as the sole success story of the Arab Spring. But it also has to be mentioned there have been nine governments in the past 10 years. Yes. Where does the country go from here? Sure. Um, first of all, I would like to describe the political scene in Tunisia as uh, polarized. We have uh, 
two sides. Uh, on the uh, on the first side, we have a Nahda party and its uh, coalition who call for more uh, role, let's say, of the religion in in Tunisia. In the other side, we have the three Dastourian parties led by uh, Abir Musi, who are calling for the return of the, the previous regime of uh, Ben Ali's. So uh, I would describe the future as blurry. We don't know what will happen today. Uh, we are waiting for the appointment of the new prime minister and and also, we are waiting for the President Kaisai to enact uh, a new uh, extraordinary uh, measures. Uh, uh, so um, it's a blurry. We, we don't have uh, any idea what will, will mm. happen uh, yesterday. Uh, it was a surprise for some. It's, it wasn't a surprise for, for uh, some people, but it was a surprise for the, the majority parties uh, in, in the party. Right. And uh, here, yes. And I mean, as we look at the mood on the streets, we, we, we've been seeing, you know, people out there protesting. You can really see how charged the atmosphere is in the country right now. Of, of course, so much of that is due to the economic situation. Um, you know, the, the economic situation has been has been struggling for years. So I'd just like to ask you now, going forward, the prospects for stabilization of the political um, and the economic environment in Tunisia. So the economic environment in Tunisia is already so sensitive. In 2020, the economy shrank to uh, nearly 9%. The employ in employment is uh, is uh, the in employment rose. I mean, is uh, is raising and it reached about 18% in 18% in 2020. So uh, I think this decision will not stabilize the the political situation in uh, Tunisia. Unfortunately, I think, like we are saying, witnessing today, clashes between protesters in in front of the parliament. I think the situation will be uh, complicated, and at the same time, the Tunisian democracy is living its biggest uh, test today with this decision uh, mm. announced by President Saeed. Rob. Rabeb of Louis joining us from Tunis, a journalist, radio journalist who is based there. Thank you so much for your reporting.